Welcome back folks to Let's Play Super Mario 64 <laughs> Mario's just sleeping it Now last time we left off we just beat a Bowser But uh, I said I were going to get all the rest of the coins The, the um, uh, stars first Now one I really want to get because it's been bugging the hell out of me Because I remembered it when I was doing the other one is is actually another star on the Princess's Secret Slide, folks. No, it bugs the hell out of me because I missed it the first time. Well, let's try again. Basically, to get this one, you have to get to the end within 21 seconds. You do that, you get the other extra star. So I'm never going to try going for life, I'm going to try and cut as many corners as possible. And I did it! First try, not bad. Not bad at all, if I do say so myself. Right, now I've got that one, I'm pretty much happy. So another thing to tell you folks, I've actually started this new save states. So like, instead of having to load the whole Project 64 up and start Mario from the title screen again, which is why we started basically where we left off. Right, now I think... I still need to get one of a star and I think I can get the wing cap, so we need to go back into Warm's Fortress. Whereas, we before Bowser, I completely screwed up and got the wrong star. So it's kind of out of order. So let's attempt to get the other star that I hate doing. Now another thing to tell you folks, I've actually remembered how to do the uh, the star in the cage on this level. But I'll tell you more about that when we get to it. First let's do this. I'm hoping to do it the first time. I think if I can get in there as well, it'll let me in. Not bad. Normally, screw up there. Right. Let's go down here. And that was quite easy for me. Normally, screw up and go straight off the edge. But uh, here we go. Now, if I remember rightly, folks, we can actually get the wing cap now. Which I think I'll go do first, and then we can finish off Bob-Omb's Battlefield. If I remember right, really, which I do. Oh, get the camera angle right. Yep, the wing cap course. Pretty much the only one I actually remember. Well, let's see if we can get the secret star on here as well. I shouldn't really, really be attending, attempting this with this. Oh, you! It was just a normal uh, thing until I've like done it, but else I'll, I'll probably fail. But we'll see. Hmm. We don't know though. That's the first. I actually can't remember ever getting that one. Where did the platform go? Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Oh. Oh. Okay, let's try that again then. This time, let's try not to do that again. Oh. I think if I get them all in one shot, I might be able to make it. Oh, 
it's just easier if you start off like this because it's a lot harder getting them all when you like jump to the tower. Oh, oh you. I think I'm gonna end up doing a let's fail of this later. Right, let's try again. If I get it off in one shot and don't mess up, I might be able to get it when we go. Oh! Oh, nah, I'm not getting it. I'm not. I had to duck down there on purpose because I knew I wouldn't get it. If I can just get it all on one go, I might be able to just do it. Oh, God. This this one reminds me of Rainbow Level, which I know I'm going to hate later. Because I've never actually got the stars for the Rainbow Ride. Ooh! I might make it, I'm not doing too bad. But actually, I think I'll be able to go to the tower. I, I think I'll be able to get the rest of them from the tower. Well, anyway, folks, that's the wing cap blocks now activated. If I can get these, I'll be happy. Get these last two coins. I'll be happy. It's these things that I find annoying with wing cap. Like to get anywhere up you need to go downloads and vice versa that's why I prefer doing it from there because it's so hard to get to do it from tower come up The last two that I'm, I'm gonna have to do. At least now I can know I've activated this, which I'm gonna have to discuss again. I'm still going back for that star, but it's just there's no way I'm gonna be able to do it unless I do it from the start. I think if I hadn't messed up that first time, I might have. When I thought I fell into it, I might have actually. Oh, that was. Oh. That's why I hate doing it for tower because it's neon impossible to do it. Get all the stars from the tower. Or get all the red coins from the tower. If I take that from oh, now turn around, turn around, make it to tower. Oh, you again missed the tower by miles. <sighs> I will get this. Oh, you. Oh, you. I think I remember why I never got this because eventually, uh, after so many goes, I probably give up. But I'm determined to get all stars this time on. So, oh, that's another thing, folks. One thing I'd like to point out is, I'm a, just like the first part of this Mario Let's Play. I made an epic blunder, especially for me. I said there was only eight stars in Mario 64. I would didn't say correctly. There's actually 120. 
Oh, now for me to make that kind of mistake. Because I know plenty of Mario facts is quite embarrassing. And I've messed up here, haven't I? There's just really no way of doing that, doing those red coins if you don't do it right from the start. No way at all. Unless you're really good at the controls of it. And the controls on this, especially with the wing cap, are so damn annoying. That if you're not fired without a cap out of a cannon, or basically got like a decent, well, decent height. You've got no chance of controlling it properly. You can't go too up too far. You can't go. You can go down, but it will not let you go up. Oh, you move up! See, I failed again. There's no way of getting it from tower. Absolute no way, because you can't get high enough. You just can't get high enough. Oh god, I've got it. I'm gonna do this in this video. I swear to God, because this is just this is so ridiculously annoying. This these red coins. There's always one, isn't there? There's always one that I miss. Which means I'm not going to... Even if I get these last two perfectly, I'm not going to make it now. Or am I? Am I? I doubt it. Oh, wait a minute, wait. Whoa, I actually fi Finally! Finally I did it! Oh, that was hard work, folks. That was so much hard work. Right, I think now we'll go finish finish off Bob Bomb's battlefield. I think I'll do I'll basically I'll finish off Bob Bomb's battlefield and then gonna cut off because I took too much time doing that. Those red those red coins. See now we got the wing cap, we can actually do this one. I think there's a wing cap block over here. Also, you don't actually I've it's only like you can only when you like the DS version where you can use like the vanish cap ability to be able to do chain chumps thing, but to do it properly in this one, you have to do it the way I, f I thought was actually cheating. That absolute isn't he? This is what I mean. You can't get high from the ground. It's so hard to get high, high enough to start actually getting some mobility on the weight with the wing cap. That's why I just normally use cannons. Right. Use a cannon, it's pretty easy. Right. I see, I mean, if you're high up like this. No, we need to. Ah, oh, that was. Yeah, this is gonna be a let's fail, isn't it? I don't remember this bit being that hard. I thought like this was one of the easier bits in Mario 64. This is supposed to be the first level gone and you're failing so much. I missed it by 
see, this is what I mean, folks. As soon as you get into like a bad bit of like not being able to do something, it continues on. I can't find the coin ring, can I? Where did that coin ring go? Ah. Oh. I'm dreading doing some of the other stars now. Especially the Rainbow Road. I mean, not the. Why do I always call it Rainbow Road? It's Rainbow Ride. I'm dreading doing that. And the Dry Dry. The Dry Dry Mountain. I think, no, it's not the Dry Dry Mountain. It's. it's uh, I can't. It's the Desert one. I can't remember what it's called. Mm. I've got the Jolly Roger Bay coming up now as well. I know. At this rate, I'm going to have to do like... No, I will finish off bob Bombs Battlefield. Oh! I thought I missed it again then. Finally, we got this one. Don't you hurt me! Oi! After much, much try, much failing there, we finally got that one. Right. Oh, I think there's only like chain chompers. Uh, yeah, the chain chompers gate, and then there's a hundred coin star, and then we're finished with the bombers battlefield. Now. The chain chumps gate is very can be very very well it can be very very annoying to get by the fact that you actually have to stomp the pole is on without him hitting you so much so you, while you're trying to stomp the pole you're very basically vulnerable to him I'm trying to get him to stop so he'll hit something else but me You see what I mean? You're basically vulnerable to him. Best way to do it is do it quite quickly like that. Otherwise, otherwise you're probably going to have a few attempts at it. Thank you for that chain jump. I'm not doing as bad as I thought I would to be fair. I thought I'd be doing a lot worse. Let's get the 100 stars one. I think to get the 100 stars one, I think I'll pick. I found the right angry coins. No, why do I keep saying that? I keep making mistakes like this. Now we get some 100 levels that to get, to get the 100 stars. I to keep doing it. 100 coins start is quite easy because you've got loads and loads of coins, but you also get some that is quite hard because you haven't got that many coins. I think this is one of the. bit of medium ones, really. I think it is. I know, like, the forms is quite easy to get the 100 coins in. If you survive, that is. If you can hear snoring in the background, folks, sorry about that, it's my dog. She's kind of asleep. I'm just snoring. I think I've already blown you up, but I want to see if I can still do this. Ah, oh, no, it don't work. In the 64 version, I mean the DS version, if you actually hit chain chomp with a bomb, it like blows up and gets like knocked up in the air.
Boom. <laughs> Boom. No. Oh, we've got to do this. Come on, give me that blue coin. I love doing this. <laughs> well, I'm like not like doing anything where I can actually die and. Uh... Just a question folks, after I've actually finished this like Super Mario 64 let's play, what what do you think I should do next? I mean, I know I've already done like an Ace Attorney let's play, but I just thought I'd ask because I'm actually quite interested. Ah, well. I mean, I've been thinking like doing Ocarina of Time, or something like that. I can't also do like PS1 games or PS2 games yet because... My processor will we'll, we'll play the Miami layer, it just it's really is laggy and the music quality is not that but bad because the processor can't keep up with it. So it may be sticking to like 64 games or DS games. And possibly SNES and NES games. But I just thought, do you know, if there's like anything you'd like want to see me let's play. You know. I mean, I probably will be doing like uh, all the Ace Attorneys, not just uh, the first Phoenix Wright one, but all of them basically. Don't know why I'm opening this gate, but never mind. I think it's uh, this Friday coming. Well. Most of you, all, most of you, and like uh, the England will basically be watching this tomorrow morning. So I think it's this this Friday. So, but uh, Luigi Mansion Two is coming out, which I will hopefully be getting. Unfortunately, the the folks, it's a 3DS game, so I can't actually let's play that. But I'd love to let's play that when I like can figure it out. I've never actually played the original, but from what I've heard, it's pretty good, pretty darn good. Uh, 55 still. It's taking a while to get a hundred on this, isn't it? I decided I'm gonna do like Coco cool, cool Mountain after this, though, folks, because after I've like finished off this and finished off Swamp's Fortress, I'm gonna do Coco cool, cool Mountain, I think. Now I can't actually remember if I can actually finish that before I get like the vanish cap. Which I've actually rem I remembered I've been like playing through this because thanks to the joyous nature of save states I can what I can actually do is I can actually play ahead on some of the stars so I'll actually remember what where to go or what to do so what takes so much time in doing it when I'm actually doing the let's play. But the thing is luckily it doesn't actually it doesn't screw up my game either because if I put a save state I can save over my game. For instance, at the moment, before I start, I actually have like 20 odd stars. Whereas this only eight. But because I've save stated, I can save. I can save over this game and not have to worry about it screwing over because I can save state and then save. So, for for instance, if I finish off here um, right now, it'll say. And save state here. It'll actually be able to uh, return to this exact point. So even though I've got a save that says otherwise, I can just, when I can actually get this working properly, return to it. Which makes the let's play a lot easier, really. I know a lot of people call it cheating, but I don't really use it for like the game.